Okay, this lesson is called I Second That Emulsion, and students will be learning about emulsions and emulsifiers. But before we get started, go ahead and activate prior knowledge and remind them of the last lesson where they built the density towers. We'll do a little bit of review. Um, ask them what density is, and ask them what happens when you pour liquids of different densities on top of each other. And they should remind you that they separate into different layers if you pour them correctly. And ask them if they ever heard of the term oil and water don't mix. And they should say yes, because we discussed it last time. And ask them what happens when you pour vegetable oil on top of water. And they should remind you that the oil will float on top of the water. And so now we're gonna present them with two different liquids. This is olive oil which is similar to vegetable oil, just tastes a little different. And this is balsamic vinegar. And uh, some of them might know that these are two ingredients in salad dressing. And that's what, exactly what we're gonna do today. We're gonna make salad dressing. But let's make a prediction. What do they think is gonna happen when I pour this vinegar into the olive oil? So vinegar isn't water, it's a little bit different, but do they think it's gonna be the same thing? as oil and water in the sense that they're not going to mix. So have them make their prediction and then go ahead and do it so they could see. They're probably going to say that they're going to separate into separate layers or hopefully they do. And they will see it right away that the vinegar is on the bottom and it's separated from the oil which is floating on the top. So which of those two liquids is more dense? the vinegar or the oil? And how do you know? And hopefully they say that the vinegar is more dense because it's sunk to the bottom and the oil is less dense because it's floating at the top. Again, always tie it back to the previous lesson if you can and uh, have them give you other examples of liquids that float on top of other liquids from the density tower. Okay, so then what we're gonna do now is ask them another question. Say that, uh, how do you think we get these two to mix together? If we want to eat a salad dressing, what can we do? And you could say, well, you could just shake them together and see what happens. So you could try that. We'll just shake it and ask them to predict whether the mixture will stay together. And it does, right? It looks like it's mixed together. And you could tell them that this is called an emulsion. An emulsion is a mixture of two liquids that usually don't mix together. And they could say, well, if vinegar and oil don't mix together, then why do they just mix together just now right in front of your eyes? And that's a good question. And what you're gonna say is that it's temporary. So two liquids that usually don't mix will mix for a short period of time, but eventually they're gonna start separating again. And in about, you could actually, I don't know if you could, you could start seeing it right now. And they probably remember this from the density tower that if they pour layers too quickly, they kind of mix together, but eventually they separate out again. So that's what's going to happen here. In about five minutes, the oil is going to start separating from the vinegar. And we can let that sit. And you could say, well, why would that be a problem if you're a chef and you're making salad dressing? Why is it a problem if your liquids separate from each other? And the answer is pretty clear. You don't want a salad dressing that's uh, oil and vinegar separated, you want a salad dressing that's all mixed together. So what do chefs do? How do they get their, their two liquids to stay together? And what they do, the answer is called an emulsifier. And an emulsifier is another ingredient, a third ingredient that you add that keeps the two liquids together permanently or close to permanently. And uh, common emulsifiers that you find in your kitchen are mayonnaise, mustard and honey. And mayonnaise is a common emulsifier because it has eggs in it and eggs has a natural emulsifying chemical called um, lecithin in it. So it'll help hold the, the oil and vinegar together. Um, one way you can describe the process to them is this. Emulsifiers, if you imagine the little emulsifier molecule, has uh, a water loving end and a fat loving end or a fat and oil loving end. And so when you have the water and the oil molecules together, it will latch on. So one end will hang on to the water, one end will hang on to the fat, and it'll form this little bond. It'll just be this bridge between the water and the oil and it'll hold them together. 
which is kind of crazy. Oh, you could see it. So it's really dark down here, and it's getting a little bit lighter, and it's uh, the oil is kind of gathering at the top, so it's already beginning to separate. In about 10 minutes, it's going to return to this stage in two different layers. So what the students are going to test first is which emulsifier is the best emulsifier in the sense that it holds the, the two liquids together best. Obviously, you also have to factor in taste, um, but we're just talking about how well it's going to hold the oil and the vinegar together. And we're going to test and have them make a prediction. What do they think works better, mayonnaise, honey, or mustard? Then you could go ahead and start testing it out. So I'm just going to add a teaspoon of mustard to this one. And then honey, which might take a little bit of time. So here is the honey. Then I'm gonna pour into the second one. And then we're gonna open this one up again. The kids will be making a, a, another one that hasn't been mixed yet. Let's check in on that. So here's our original one. And again, it's separating. So here is mustard in that first one. And they're putting the same amount of each one in each jar. And they're using the same ratio for oil and vinegar in each jar. And we're going to use the same technique while we're testing for emulsifying agents. And that's going to be agitating um, the jars. And agitate is just a fancy word for shake. So we're going to shake it together. And uh, have them make observations. Does it look fully mixed? It does. And the mustard also changed the color a little bit. But then we're going to let them sit. And we're going to see if they separate out again. So if the emulsifying agent worked, then technically this should stay this color and this thickness the oil and the vinegar shouldn't separate again. So that was mustard. This one's honey. Okay, and does it look fully mixed? It does. And we're gonna leave that there. And then this one's the mayonnaise. Which we're gonna shake a little bit harder just because it has these, these little chunks in it. Um, so that's the mayonnaise and we're going to have to let them sit a little bit and wait and see which one stays together best. And so it'll take about five minutes of waiting before you're going to see any differences between the three mixtures. So here we have our three emulsions. These are our salad dressings, which um, have settled for about five minutes now. And now what the students have to do is make the observations and make a conclusion about which emulsifier worked the best. And they have to explain why they think so. So what evidence is there that they can see. Um, so here is the mustard. And for the most part, it stayed mixed together. But if you look really closely, you can see that there's a thin layer of oil at the top. So while it works really well, it didn't work perfectly, there's a little bit of separation, tiny, tiny, tiny bit of separation at the top. Okay. And this is the mayonnaise. And uh, 
it actually has stayed mixed together quite well. There's no thin oil layer at the top. There is kind of a kind of a darker coloring at the top. It's not like a completely separate layer, but it almost looks like there's like more vinegar hanging out at the top, but it's not completely separated. So I'm going to say that's pretty good. I think the mayonnaise worked better than the mustard because for the most part it's still completely mixed together. And then honey did not work well at all. You can totally see the vinegar kind of sunk to the bottom and the oil is all at the top. In the middle they're kind of mixed together a bit but this completely separated again. So honey is not a good emulsifier. And so in order from best to middle to worst right there for our uh, emulsifiers and our salad dressings. Now the next thing that the students are going to test, I'm not going to show you, um, it'll take a while, is testing techniques. So what they're going to do is choose their favorite emulsifying agents. I actually really like the taste of mustard better so I would choose mustard. They're going to do three bowls. Um, and then they're going to test different techniques, so they're not going to shake. They're actually going to use a whisk and, to mix up the mixtures. And in one, they're going to put all the ingredients in at once and then whisk it and see what happens. In the second one, they're going to put in the mustard and the vinegar and then pour the oil in slowly and see what happens. And then the third one, they're going to put the oil and the mustard in and then pour the vinegar in really slowly and see what happens. And so they're going to test technique. Um, and that should be fun as well. At the very end, um, if you bring in carrots for them, they could actually add a few spices to the salad dressings and uh, come up with their own recipes and use them as dips. So that's up to you. You don't have to, but if you want to um, introduce tasting at the end, you can just make sure that the kids are using food safety gloves um, and that they are taking the the spice part seriously. So tell them to spice very, very slowly uh, so they're not adding too much salt or too much cumin or too much basil um, and kind of make it a contest. See who could come up with the best tasting salad dressing. That might be fun. So here is a little cartoon that will explain emulsions and emulsifiers for you. So here we have two liquids that usually don't mix, oil and water. And as we know, oil and water do not mix. They're separated, they're not mixing. We can force them together, like we did when we shook the jar, so that they'll form a temporary emulsion. So here they are, they're stuck together, but they don't look too happy about it. And if left to their own devices, they're just gonna separate again. So what we have to do is add a third party to the mix. And that third party is the emulsifier. The emulsifier is a happy guy. He has an oil-loving end and a water-loving end. So this end is going to latch onto oil, and this end is going to latch onto water, and he's going to serve as a happy bridge between the two. So then you're going to get a permanent emulsion. The emulsifier keeps oil and water together. forever.